Today, we are going to make some knife scales out of this antler here. As you can tell, it's been, been cut up and used a few times, but we need some knife scales for this knife. You may have already seen it in the thumbnail. Not sure if it's going to be there yet, but if not, we'll take this off at the very end when we put the scales on. Um, but this is about the, the scales, the antler, not as much the knife. I've had a few people request and want to know how to do knife scales out of the antler. So that's what we're going to do today. The first thing you need to do with your antler and your knife is find out which part's thick enough. I thought about doing right here, but I think the knife is just too thick. So I think we're gonna cut this part out right here. Um, that will fit our knife, our shape, and give some good lines and texture from the antler. So. Next step, cut it up, and it's going to stink. Once you have your piece, I like to try to find a center line. So we're going to need to split this in half. So I try to find the best angle that's going to be the flattest because we need it to fit on both sides here. Uh, antler is not the easiest to deal with because it's not all shaped the same. So your goal is to make it work. So we'll probably draw a line right here and then cut it right down the center so. So, I think I like it that way better. Now when we look at it, we can line them exactly how we want it. So probably something, something like that. But as you can tell, it wasn't perfectly a perfect cut. So now we go and we sand it flat, get it level, and try to keep them in as even as possible. Because um, this one divots in. And this has a little bit of bow here. So you try to keep them as close to even as possible. We may need to take off a little bit here in the front. But we'll get to that in a minute. First we're going to make it flat. So we can punch our holes. Drill our holes. This is why you need to wear stuff, protection, um, especially with antler. You've probably seen me do this part before. I just put some blue painting tape down. So with the antler, we're going to cut this tape off right here on both sides. That way I can see and line up the antler, make sure that we don't miss what we need to. We're going to try to get this curve to follow our curved handle. They're pretty close, so that's what we're going to try to do. OK, 
Okay, so now we can see what's happening better. And we just put some super glue on. Where'd I put that? Right here. Probably don't need that much. That was probably a little excessive, but. We want to go about as far back as we possibly can. It's right there. Now you hold it on tight, let's seal. Then these holes that are already drilled in the steel will be your guide. However, this isn't flat, so it's a little tricky at first. But. So, thought I'd try something new. Let's see if it works. Um, I put tape on this side just to help so it doesn't chip out the bone. Sometimes you'll be drilling through and it will chip out right there at the end, but taping it up seemed to seem to work out. So probably be doing that in the future from now on. But there we go. First two holes are ready to go. Now we're going to tape the other side and drill the holes the same way. Now you should be able to, once you get your holes both sides, you should be able to just pull the tape right off. Now there's no residue, anything left here or here. The glue's all on the tape. I'm sure you've seen other people do that as well, but I really like to do it. And with the antler, it helps out quite a bit. Now we're going to cut it out and get it all ready to shape up and glue it. I, I use the bandsaw today, but I have used an angle grinder, hacksaw, whatever you have to cut your knife. Then, then you just glue it up. So the glue's all dried, it's epoxy, um, there's a few spots we'll still have to clean up, um, but we're also going to sand the edge down so that it's flush with the blade. It also helps clean up all of that. After you cut them off, uh, however close you can, you can sand them, you can peen them, whatever you want. We're just going to sand them down. And same with the blade, the handle. And then we put it boiled lins linseed oil on it. That helps protect it and bring out the colors. And there they are. Antler handled knives.